In this video, I'm gonna create epic photo manipulation and walk you through the whole process. The idea is to make a scene in the jungle where Hunter is fighting a T-Rex. To make this edit, I'll need to find tons of trees, a T-Rex, someone who can become a Hunter and bunch of other stuff to fill out the composition. So I'll probably place the Hunter on the right side, possibly on a big rock or cliff or something, and I'll put the T-Rex on the left side. After that, I'll create a jungle scenery and add all the other cool stuff. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So first let's drop this guy, definitely not a hunter but that's not a problem but the pose is definitely what I was looking for. Now let's drop the fake T-Rex picture because there are no real T-Rex pictures, I hope you understand this. Now let's drop this rock under the hunter, I'm just gonna make it a tad bigger. Now let's turn this guy into an actual hunter because it doesn't look like a hunter right now. I'm gonna make his coat a bit more brown, there we go. I'm just using hue and saturation to change the color. I'm gonna replace the head also and bunch of other stuff to make him look like a real hunter. The angle is perfect, so we're good to go. Now let's cut out the T-Rex. Let's cut out the details, so it is perfect. There we go. Now let's drop the backgrounds. This is not gonna be easy, guys. I tried many backgrounds, but nothing was working. This was pretty hard, not gonna lie. Before we continue adding the backgrounds, let's polish this T-Rex picture. I'm just gonna remove this leaves and branches. I'm just using clone stamp tool. I'm doing the small bit so it looks perfect. After that I drop this picture that looks like a jungle a lot more than the previous ones. But removing the clouds is not an easy task. I tried many methods to do that and nothing really worked. I removed it with the color range and then refined the edges with the refine edge brush tool inside the mask. Let's remove some trees from his mouth, there we go. I dropped another picture on the background, let's drop another one on the left side, same thing here. Remove the clouds with the color range and then refine it. I think I'll add one more on the right side. And now let's add the sky. I wanna make sky a bit more brighter with the levels. Let's add another sky because I want clouds in the bottom too. There we go, I'm just gonna remove the top part and I think it kinda looks good but still we're far from being really good. I matched the colors with the color balance, I added some shadows with exposure, there we go. Now let's add the shadows on a T-Rex. Left side should be pretty dark and on the right side there should be some highlights. There should be some highlights on the top as well because of the sky. I'm gonna add some more highlights, there we go. Let's match the colors of T-Rex a bit better, there we go. Now let's add the shadows under the hunter. Shadows should be on the left side, there we go, I'm just gonna fix it on the right foot and I think it looks pretty good. Now let's add some more shadows on the T-Rex, this part should be pretty dark I think, but we'll see, I might change it later. I removed one layer of the trees in the background and I pulled down the palms and I think this looks a lot better. The foreground was looking pretty terrible so I wanted to add trees on my own. I found this tree on Envato, I just polished it with the refine edge brush tool and dropped it in the foreground. I'm just gonna make it tad bigger, rotate and duplicate it to the right side. Now let's add another tree, there we go, I'm just gonna remove the white, duplicate and it looks pretty good. Now let's add the shadows to make this realistic. Shadow should be on the right side, there we go. Same thing, remove it from the T-Rex's mouth. Adjust the colors to match the composition. Now I wanna add another rock on the left side. I don't know why, I just wanna add the rock. I think it looks pretty good. Let's add the shadows on the rock. Some highlights on the palm trees, there we go. Some shadows on the trees behind. After that I noticed that some of the parts on T-Rex were pretty blue, so I added the hue and saturation and painted it on the blue spots. 
there is a blue spot here there is a lot of blue on the top there we go it is removing perfectly now i want to add the plastic wrap in the mouth so it looks more wet i think it's the right choice i don't know yet but we'll see let's add some more shadows under the t-rex now i want to try to add the saliva with the white brush I think it's gonna look pretty good. I'm just gonna connect the teeth, nothing special here, I've done this before. I wanna add some more trees on the right side, I'm just gonna remove the ground, there we go. Let's add some shadows too, so it matches the light. I wanna add one more tree near the rock, there we go. Now I want to add pterodactyls in the sky. I'm going to add two of them, just matching the size. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to add the highlights on the right side. Exactly the same thing on the other one, so it looks realistic. And I'm going to merge them into the clouds. There we go, it looks pretty good. I want this hunter to hold this spear, so I found this 3D spear on Envato. I'm just gonna make him hold this, remove it from the hand. Let's add the highlights. Now let's add the shadows and highlights on the hunter. Let's add some more highlights on T-Rex. When you go in details, it just starts looking a lot better. Let's add one more tree near the T-Rex. There we go. Now I want to add this moss texture on the rock. I'm just going to decrease the flow on the brush and add it on some places. Same thing on the top of the rock. I'm going to add some here. There we go. I want to add some kind of paint on the hunter because it's going to look pretty cool. Yep, there we go. I don't know what that means, but it is pretty cool. Now let's add some kind of blood stains on the T-Rex. I'm just adding it here and there, hoping that it's going to look good. Now let's add some flying leaves. I'm just going to remove it from some parts and duplicate. Now let's add some highlights on the leaves. It just makes it look a lot better. And now I want to add some motion blur. And this looks a lot better. Now let's remove this back blink because that looks pretty terrible. Let's remove this tube as well, or whatever that is. I'm gonna turn this top tube into a rope or something. There we go, it looks pretty good. After that, I had a camera roll filters, I probably changed everything, and this is the final result. Final result turned out to be amazing. I really had no hope making this because for some reason it was really hard and I don't know why. Usually when I make something I start and I go with the flow but with this one I got stuck a lot. But at the end I'm really proud with the result and I hope you like it too. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did and want to see more cool stuff in the future make sure to like and subscribe because it means the world to me and motivates me a lot. Goodbye and I really hope I'll see you in the next video.